Now, let me open up the comment API test class where I have all the integration tests of this API. First of all, I'll run all the existing tests just to make sure that I don't have any failing tests before starting. Good, all tests are passing. So for the delete functionality, I would write the following integration tests. The response code should be 204 for a valid request. Actually delete the comment from the database and then return response code 404 if the comment with the particular ID does not exist. I'll start with the first one, just checking the response code. Delete comment for valid request returns response code 204. Now I'm using MVC to perform a delete with the URL comments slash one and expect status is no content. I also want to print the request and response as well. Throws exception. Now, there should be some comments in the database for it to be deleted. So for that, I'm using the SQL annotation to preload the database. The execution phase should be before test method. And I'm going to execute this statement to insert a comment into the database. I also want to make sure the database is clean after this test. So I'm going to move this into an SQL group and then add another SQL statement to delete the comment. This should be executed after test method. Run the test. It's failing because I haven't added the necessary annotations to expose this API method. So I'll add the delete mapping annotation here and also the path variable annotation to this parameter so that the comment ID will be passed into the method. So run the test again. Again, it's failing. Status expected is 204 but was 200. That means we're getting an OK response. But what we want is a 204 which is no content. So let me add the annotation. I'll run the test again. OK, now it passes. Next test is to check whether the comment is actually deleted from the database. I'll copy this test and rename it. I'll remove the status check because it's already been done in the previous test. For this test, first I'll send a GET request to get all the comments and make sure that there is a comment in which the ID is 1. So this JSON path expression is to get the length of the array. It should be one because I have added just one record in the database. And then this JSON path expression is to get the ID of the first element, which is the zeroth element of the array and make sure it's one. And then print. Next, I'll send the delete request to delete the comment with ID 1. And then I want to send another GET request. This time it is to make sure that I'm not getting any comments back because that record previously retrieved by the GET request should be deleted now. So the length should be 0. Run the test. OK, it passes. So for the final test, I'll copy this test and rename to when comment does not exist, returns response 404. And I want to make sure that there are no comments in the database this time. So I'll add this SQL annotation. Status expected is not found. And then I'm going to change the execution phase from after test method to before test method. Run the test. It throws the exception, but the test is failing because the expected status code is not returned. So now I'm setting the response status code in the not found exception class. Response status, HTTP status not found. Run the test. Wait, it's passing now and returning 404 status code. So that's all the integration tests 
that I had planned for this delete functionality. And finally, I'll run all the tests in this API. Great, all tests are passing now. 